So this video is to hopefully help you um, put some Jamboard uh, slides into Canvas. So the first thing obviously is go to your Smart Start and find the vid, the I'm sorry, the link that will take you to the Jamboard. Okay. So then you have to download it and make a copy. I already did that and I already put it in my folder for Math Smart Start. So it's here. Now remember when you open your um, file, this is the time for you to decide am i going to give the students the whole you know jamboard slide deck because for example for this one for number of the day what happens is it's obviously a different number for each day or what you could do is just decide to give them one and so when you make your copy when you download it at first and you make your copy then you have to make sure to just select the one slide of, of the jamboard that you need and make that specific copy okay I decided I'm going to give them the whole deck and just direct them to use the number of the day that I need so I already have my copy here now you go back to canvas and you have to make sure that you um, assign it as an assignment that's the only way that we can use that external tool that goes into the drive so I'm gonna go ahead and add the assignment I'm gonna give it a name for I already have that number of the day I'm going to call this test only because I already have this set up here. You can give instructions. So this would be, you know, where you can say today we're going to work on number of the day number 10 only. So this would be the perfect spot for you to do it. Now in the bottom, we have to give it at least a point. It is the only way that the external tool pops out. If you put a zero, you're going to see how it's not going to actually give us a a chance okay now let me explain this so even though it's here okay and I put a zero here when you go to the external tool and you try to attach an assignment with zero point value it will not let you so make sure to give it at least one point okay now I'm going to go to the external tool I'm gonna to go to find and let's go down to our Google assignments make sure that it's your account press continue make sure you press attach look for your Jamboard I know it's gonna be this one add in it says each student will get a copy and that's what we want Remember the point value that you gave it before, it needs to match. Also the due date, you know, I am not gonna put a due date this time just because I know that my number of the day is going to be a couple of days. So there's no due date for this. Then you're going to make sure to then um, click create. Sorry, it's cut off a little bit on my screen, but it's the blue button, press create. Then here, make sure you press select, do not close or press cancel because it will not save your assignment. And then just the blue button, because I know this button depends, you know, the words depends on the type of computer you are using. Press select or add item. Then after that, you're going to make sure that you put, um, if you actually had a due date that matches, but we don't have one this time and press save and publish. And so now the kids can get that Jamboard. So I'm going to see if I can actually show with by going to student view. Let me see if it goes through assignments. Here's my test. Okay, I am going to switch my account just because I'm testing to see what this looks like.
So then here is the part where you can see what it looks like for a student. And so um, they would have to press open assignment. And um, one of the things that I've noticed we have to be careful is to tell our students, like, don't, you know, touch anything down here. Just click on the file that pops up. And then they will be able to see this in their drive. Like, see, I'm the student and I see this, like, you know, it's in my personal account right now, but this would go to the student's drive. Okay. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. I did actually want to add one more thing. I think it's, you know, sometimes useful just in case, you know, something happens and some of the kids say, I cannot access it because it's going to happen. Technology happens. What I did during the summer when for some weird reason the kids could not open it, as a teacher, I would, you know, look for my Jamboard and I would just copy and paste it. Now, when you do that as a teacher, you have to make sure that you actually, um, let me switch. Well, actually, that's the correct one. I would make sure that my share here, you have to make sure that it's shareable with anyone with the link, okay? So what, what does that mean? Remember, they show that you have to make sure that you come over here and it comes to getting a link. So you can get the link that way and then you can just, you know, copy the link and in your Zoom account in the chat, you can paste it and the kids can get to it that way too. And that's just a little idea for, you know, just in case the other method doesn't work. All right, I'm done now, I promise.